Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing about Amazon Elastic Cash and how we can use it. So let's talk about this Amazon Elastic Cash. It is used to unlock microsecond latency as well. It will help you to scale with in-memory caching. It will help you also to boost your application performance, reducing the latency to microseconds. It will also help you to scale just with few clicks to meet the end demands on some spike in the demand and how we can uh, scale our applications. It is also help you to reduce the cost and eliminate the operational overhead of self-managing the cache and all. Build your own choice of Redis or Memcache, whichever you want. So I'll be showing in this video how to use the Redis one. So suppose if you have internet scaling applications, so real-time applications, gaming, ride hailing, media streaming, dating, or social media, that needs the faster access to your data, we can have the elastic cache. So in-memory data store for use as a database cache. And we can also use it as a message broker and a queue, and it stores the inferral data in the memory for sub millisecond response. So those are the use cases, real-time transaction, chat, VI and analytics, session store, gaming, leaderboards, and cache. So these are all the examples of this elastic cache where we can implement. Now, we, I'll be using a EC2 instance in order to uh, connect to my Redis cache. And uh, these are the commands. I will show you how we can implement this. But before that, I need to create a Redis cluster. Then that cluster we will I will be calling in my EC2 instance. Okay. So let's uh, move on to the lab session. So first of all, I will go to the Elastic Cache over here in my in my AWS console. So you can see create a cluster. So we I'm going to create a Redis cluster. So configure it and create a new cluster. We can also have from backup also. So this is cluster mode has been disabled. Let it be there. And cluster info, my Redis. And description is optional, location on AWS cloud only, enable AZ. We can remove this one also. And we can, it's your wish if you want to keep it because I'll be just removing the, you can see if I enable this one, how many clusters are getting enabled. So just keep it like disabled. Just having a single shard, node group, just one single I'm making it. And it can have up to five read replicas. So multi AZ, if you want, you can keep it or just you can remove it. And cluster settings. This is the version number, port number, parameter, node type, number of replicas, how many you want in case of failure and all. Then choose existing subnet group. These let it be the default ones. Now make it show in this this security group. Uh, so that is a my security Redis. Make it sure you're having the access. Otherwise, we won't be able to access our Redis through the EC2 instance. So let's click next. If you want to enable this encryption at rest, if you want, you can make it encryption in transit. Uh, select security groups. Uh, we can click on this manage. And I already have this my security group. Let me check if I have or else I have to create a new one. Okay, let, let it be this one. Later on, we can just we need to remember that we need to add the access my security RDS or like let's say this one my security group or my RDS security. I'll let it be this one. I'll just later on, I will change it. So you can just go to this particular security group and you can just check whether the Inbound rules are okay or not. Oh, we need to modify it. Oops. Yeah, it's all traffic, so no need to worry. It's fine. Then backup. I'm just removing this backup. Uh, no specific maintenance window. Enable upgrades and logs and all are there. You can also add the tags. Next. So this is just a review. Settings, everything. Here we can add all those things and then click create. 
uh, this one will also take some time. In the meantime, we can go to the just EC2 instance and we can launch one instance over here. So we can keep running side by side. So we will launch an instance. My EC2. Then let it be AWS, uh, Linux only, uh, T2 Micro, that's it. Key pair, I already have a key pair. If you don't have, you have to create it. Security group, uh, let it be, I will just allow everything. It is creating, you can choose existing one also. I can choose existing one that I'm using the Redis cluster. Let it be, it's your wish. Uh, if you want some user data to be executed, we can put it this in over here. We can add it over here, user data. But anyways, I will just use AC to connect in order to run that. The number of instance, I just need one. So I'll just click launch instance. So you can see still it is creating our Redis cluster. So we will go to the instances over here. Our instance is also launching. We will just wait for it. It's creating. Once we click on this, you can see over here. We will be getting over here endpoint. So you can see the primary endpoint. It is not coming over here. We'll be getting over here once it is running properly. So our instance is done. So I will just open my EC2 instance and you can just go back and you can just select your EC2 instance and click connect. So let it be this is the by default user. Again, I'm telling I'm using the root account so that is not recommended so make it sure whenever you are running the commands use a sudo otherwise you will have some problems so our ec2 instance is also done so sudo su switch user so that's it done okay next we have right sudo Amazon iPhone Linux. So we are going to put some packages. Start install. So you can see these are the different different kind of packages that are available. So, but we are going to install some specific ones. So that is EPEL. Okay, that's it. Yes. Then we are going to run sudo yum update. Okay, that's it. Then we are going to run sudo um, install Redis. Okay, let us verify Redis hyphen CLI hyphen version. Oops.
Okay, so you can see our Redis has also been installed. Now I'll go back to my cluster over here. Let's see, I hope we will get my endpoints ready. So you can see this is my endpoint over here. So I'll just copy this portion only. 6379 is the port number. So I'll just go here. I'll write it over here, Redis, iPhone CLI, iPhone H, then my endpoint, then space, hyphen P space, 6379. I hope the port number is correct. Yeah, 6379. Yeah, that's it. So if some issues, if some issues are there with the I think I make some spelling mistakes. Oh, I can put extra space over here. Okay, so if any security group issues is there, then it won't connect. So now you can see it has been connected. So that's all. So that's how we can have our Redis being connected to our EC2 instance for caching purpose. If you are having some website application that you want to cache the data and all, we can utilize this running on the EC2 instance. So that's all. So we will just clear up everything in order to avoid any billing. So I'll just close this one. So first I'll go to my EC2 instances over here. I will select this one and just change its state to terminate. Terminate. And then I will go back to my Redis clusters over here. So I will select this one and action delete. So I don't want to keep a backup. No need. My Redis and click delete. That's all. I hope you understood the thing about how to create a Redis cluster and how we can connect to easy to instance, how we can utilize the caching thing. So I hope you like my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.